welcome back to another one of our lovely videos okay so today is a very exciting day for us on the homestead because we are actually going to buy our inverter for our solar system today so I'm super excited about that I am here at the solar store right now so let's go inside and see what I end up with I love palm trees I'm starting to think they're my favorite tree okay family so i'm thinking about going ahead and getting this little bracket system as well from him so he's going to let me know what the price is i just want to get everything all together everything that i need right now so we can have it Okay, and I'm also going to purchase, you said these were 550s, right? Right. Okay, the 550 watt panels from him, I'm gonna get three for right now. So we did already start out with six, the 695 watt, but it'll just be much easier to get, go ahead and get them from him. Yeah. And we can use the other ones for something else. Okay, so the uh, Integra Rack system there, uh, once you have it set up, you need to put the gravel over the top of the, you know, on, of the bottom. There's the geotex goes over the legs there to shoot okay. off the water, and then you put your ballast material on it, and you don't have to dig in this hard, rocky. Because it is soil. rocky. You got caliche and boulders and all kinds of things, so it's an easy way for everybody to get their panels up quickly. Right, right. And you said the rocks need to be how high on well, there? About 18 about inches off 18 the inches. Yeah, it's, it's, um, you can use uh, gravel or you can use uh, okay. um, concrete parking lot bumpers or just mm -hmm. about anything that weighs enough to get to the level that we need for the engineered plans for the wind speed of 120 miles an hour in Arizona. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, big bus bar here. Okay. All right, so... Uh, the terminals are kind of small, but we want bigger wire for that. But it's okay for the smaller wire for just one battery to connect to this big bus bar. But if we're not using the cabinet, then mm -hmm. we use an external set of bus bars. But to set it up and test it, you can use mm -hmm. a smaller wire that will fit on the terminal. You know, just for now. Okay. To do your test. But when you want to run the whole farm dominium mm -hmm. and you're going to have probably six of these batteries yeah. or something like that then, then that's when i would need, need that to get this cabinet okay or you'll have to get a set of bus bars like this to connect those all those batteries together because the okay terminals are small made for that those big bus bars to connect to okay okay we'll go into the input or the output, yeah, the output. And then your, uh, you know, from the other side, these little wires will go into the PV input there. Okay. So this will be the incoming from the panels and out into the inverter. Okay, awesome. And we can turn them on and off. And that's called what again? It's a disconnect isolator. Disconnect PV, isolator. Okay. It's just photovoltaic. Okay. It's on the red positive side of your these big cables when it plugs into the okay. solar panel. Okay. And then we've got our disconnect there and our battery cables and mm -hmm. our solar panel wire. Okay. So we're going to the back and we're going to get the 550 watt panels and the earth ballast kit and our inverter. Awesome. So I'll carry this out the back if you just want to pull right pull around, around. around the side of the building here. Okay. I'll put you right back there. Sounds good. Thank you. Right, you mm -hmm. So he is going to get the panels right now for me, and we're about to get, get it all loaded. Should I turn the truck around? Should I turn the truck around? Um, you're okay right here, actually. I'm okay. That was our biggest cost. Done when they get down here. Yeah. All right, fam. I am all loaded up with everything I need for solar. Yeah, baby. So excited. Our little racking system. 
All right, family, I'm at the nursery now. I just had to stop here just to look. I don't know why. Every time I ride by, I have to stop. But anyways, I'm so excited about our solar, you guys. Um, I didn't expect to like buy everything today, but I'm just like, you know what? Why not just get it done, get it over with, get it done now, you know? So anyways, got everything that we needed. Um, he hooked us up with a guy that does electrical. He's a licensed uh, electrician. So he will be coming out on, what day was it? He'll be coming out on May 8th. Yes, May 8th. So he can just see what he's working with, where I plan to set up everything, set my racks, um, and where we're gonna put the actual boxes for the solar and all that good stuff. So anyways, I was doing my research and I've been trying to watch videos on solar, uh, taking YouTube university classes. And there's this one video, this guy, I'll post um, the uh, teaching that he put up. I'll post it right now. And that video taught me a lot about solar. I mean, he put, I mean, he's African and speaks with a really rich accent, but I got a lot from his teaching. So if you're trying to learn about solar, watch that video. But, um, so I was researching like, what would be a good system that could run almost anything, like probably two, three households. Um, and then I came up with the 10,000 kilowatt system. So that is usually used for uh, commercial and industrial purposes. And that's exactly what I want. Even if we don't need that much power, I want to have it available at our property. Because who knows when time, like in my thinking, you guys, oh, let me wind my windows up because the whole world can hammer me because I'm so loud. But in my thinking, um, we don't know what this world is coming to with everything going so high. I mean, I know what this world is coming to because I read the Bible and I know what um, God teaches us throughout the Bible, and especially for the end times. Um, not trying to freak anyone out, but it's the truth. God's word is true. It's going to happen. So um, things will start to get worse. Prices will, the Bible says in the last days, a loaf of bread will be a man's whole day wage. during the end time so what we're going through right now you guys is literally nothing compared to what's coming so anyways i believe that god is preparing his people like he took care of his children the uh children that <laughs> i'm so excited when i start talking about god i just go blank sometimes but the children of israel when they were in the wilderness he su he supplied all their needs and i truly believe that's what god's going to do with us so anyways i know that um during these end times, people will need to stick together more. Families will need to come together. So I'm just preparing for if I have more family members that want to move out this way and come live on the 50 acres with us, we will have enough power. Well, at least at the 10 acres, because you know that our tent for our my new subscribers, we have 10 acres and then across the way we have 40 more acres. So anyways, equaling 50. But uh, at least for the 10 acres, we will have that system if somebody wants to come and put, you know what I'm saying. So anyways, a 10,000 kilowatt system will be everything that we need. It is massive. I am just so grateful. Oh yeah, family. I did want to add that we will be having 20 solar panels all together, which they will be 550 watts a piece. So 20 all together. Right now we only have three because that's what we could afford at the moment, but we will definitely be going back for the other panels. And also we will be adding one more battery on top of the one that we were sponsored. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Oh, family, I also wanted to add that this is the battery that we were sponsored. So stay tuned for the review that we will be doing uh, for this battery and we will be getting two of these um i will put the entire price up on the screen for you guys so you can know how much i paid
Ben was very, very, very helpful. Such a nice guy. The electrician will be out on the 8th, so I'll make sure I make a video for that, you guys. I know this video isn't very long, but I just want to take you all with me while I went and got all of our solar needs. Woohoo! Got my panels on the back. Of I don't know how I'm gonna get all this off here, y'all. I sure don't. <laughs> well, how I usually get it off by myself. But anyways, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you all. Just remember, if you have faith and you, you, you have the Lord, he will take care of all of your needs. You know, he's so good to us that even if you don't know the Lord, he's still taking care of you and supplying all your needs without you even knowing it's him doing it or without you even giving glory to him and giving showing your gratitude and gratefulness towards the Lord. That he's providing for you. So um, I just want to put that in there and you guys all just be blessed. Um, prayers for everyone who's struggling right now during these hard times. I know it's hard for a lot of people, um, but things will get better. Trouble doesn't last always and God bless you all. And so with that being said, I will see you all probably not. Well, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow because I have a video uploading right now. It's taking forever, but yeah, love you guys and bye bye.